Welcome everybody, this is a new type of video we're doing today. Today we'll be breaking apart a refueling javelin instead of a regular race video. We already have the javelin queued up, so we will go ahead and get started. We are going to start with the first set of ion rings today. To release them, there are two methods. The first method is there are eight points inside the bow of the ship you can cut separating the two large struts where you can place demo charges as you see I'm doing here. The charges can be placed anywhere on the support struts, but the cut points are the better idea if you want to save material and deal with less mess. I'm not putting charges on the cut points to separate the rings because if done correctly they can be tethered to the barge in one piece. Unfortunately I didn't do that here so I'll have to fix this issue later in the video. Right now we're releasing the air pressure from the airlock. It's a habit of mine, so it's not airlock really necessary at this dropping. point. After the airlock, we move into the middle cage of the vessel, or the amidship. We'll be using the split saw to release all the coolant tanks and clamps, and charge push them to the barge. The others would have been a better choice, as they're faster and more reliable than my aim. Had I used tethers during this section, it would have been finished much faster. Their value is worth far more than the time it takes returning to the kiosk. If you watch some of the first race videos produced, you'll see tethers are reserved and used sparingly. In later videos, they are pretty much relied upon. The difference in time and score between the two varieties is fairly large.
The second Ion Rain we do pretty much the same as the first, demo, tether, and move on. We also separate the high gain antenna and amplifier. These can also be cut off from the inside, but using demo charges on the outside feels a bit faster. The antenna amplifier combo can be split at the cut point, but I prefer to barge them as one unit. If you'd like to do the same, take special note of the tether's placement on the cut point. Anywhere else and only one piece will be barged and the other will be affected by the kite bug and fly away never to be saved. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. For a quick entry to the app section, we're going to cut off the thruster cap to depressurize. But be warned, the ship is under pressure and to make these cuts from anywhere not directly behind the cap unless you're looking for a quick recipe for cutter jelly. I was expecting two cut points either side of the thruster in these locations, but had to make a small change. Quick tether from the thruster to the barge is all we need, and we're completely safe pulling the thruster override on the jab. There's only one thruster, one fuel pipe, and one lever. It's not going to explode. Here is our first kiosk run. Really, it should have been our second, the first after pulling the coolant, but we won't dwell on the past. To save a bit of time, I'm using the grapple pull technique to move faster than thrusters allow. All you have to do is grapple something far away and reel yourself in. You can also use grapple pulls, but it's a bit harder to control and takes some real practice. Our first phantom tether. Generally this happens when you place tethers too quickly on objects not yet pulled from their point of contact. I'm not sure why this one happened. I'm not used to seeing the reactor in this configuration, so I was a little confused. After watching, I can see a slew of new ways to do it better. This is only my third or fourth run through a large javelin refueling vessel, so enjoy as I flounder through this section. Thank you. 
accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Here is a demonstration of the technique aptly called cross-stitching. A tether can be placed in one of two ways, either from the object to a location or from the location to the object. A very useful skill to master. It's not strictly necessary to pull the coolant or drain the fuel for the reactor. If you create a clear enough path, the reactor can be tethered directly to the barge without concern. Our second kiosk run, never not spam tethers, and never not buy more. Thank you. 
here what I'm doing is looking for a fast method of quick separation between the aft section and the cage section. Those of you who have particularly astute observational talent will notice this method didn't work. Having made that discovery, we've moved to the slower method of cutting cut points and frame holding the airlocks in. Airlocks and airlock consoles are at high value, so I'll always grab them. Object process. Credit deposited. Never hesitate to buy anything you need at the barge. You're pulling so much value out of every ship, the kiosk prices are negligible. For instance, the Reactor 2 is worth 3 million credits and the highest value items in the kiosk, the demo charges and keys, only cost 50,000 each. So you would need to have to buy 60 of either to negate the value of the reactor. the intended way and it requires a few minutes to fix. If you watch the lower middle HUD you can identify which pieces barge properly. When the reticule passes over anything that has been barged, the barge tag won't appear. Salvage 
deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Pressure levels dropping. The front end airlocks are exactly the same as the aft end, high value and worth grabbing. That said, I had a lot of difficulty cutting them off because I wasn't paying enough attention to what I was doing. Repair kits can be bought at the kiosks, so remember to repair your tools when you end your workday. The latest patch added more negative quirks that have limited side effects, but we can continue cutting unhindered. Pro life tip, if something you're working on is causing you too much frustration, stop and do something else for a bit, then come back with a clear mind. With that advice in mind, what we're doing here is setting up for what a few people have dubbed the Clown Car Tow Truck. It's an abuse of the in-game physics by hooking smaller, easier to move objects to another, much larger object. The smaller object will pull the larger to wherever you want it to be. I use this tactic quite a bit in my everyday cutting. Someone once asked me what will I do if the bug gets patched, and my response is I will just cut the ship into smaller pieces.
Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Pressure levels increasing. Air pressure level decreasing. Air pressure level decreasing. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Air pressure level decreasing. The power generator can be safely pulled at any time, there's no need to play a little light puzzle if you don't want to. If you pull the generator without playing the lights, you can grab the fuses safely after they finish sparking. The wall holding the power generator has a computer and eight lights. The computer has to be cut off and the eight lights will show up as object in the end of ship tally. 
I destroyed the left side of lights with the splits off, but they are normally there. I was planning to cut the nano carbon with the demo charge to free the airlocks, but changed my mind and instead opted to disarm the demo. Okay, Cutter. I've got the new design in front of me. It looks like there's still a trick to taking them off. Go ahead and give it a try. As you can see, I perfectly demonstrated how not to do it. The delay for the puzzle only occurs with Weaver's explanation the first time you try to disarm per ship or ships. After that, the puzzle starts with a much briefer delay. I'm making test fits here to find a quick way to separate the room sections. It's just exploratory as both rooms have doors which are themselves worth more than all the aluminum per room. 
And with that, we return to the regular ship disassembly, so I'm going to let the reel run out at this point. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below, or even better, join us on the official Discord. It's full of knowledgeable people who are willing to help, including myself. And as always, keep cutting. Tether supplies are low.
Deposit accepted.